Hi y'all, it's Susan. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do a really quick uh, little something in the kitchen um, and they're called uh, egg cups. So I'm going to be making ham and cheese egg cups. It's a very simple recipe or it's not a recipe, it's just throwing stuff together. That's what you got. Um, but anyway, so I purchased these little silicone um, muffin little things here. I think those work really well. And I don't know if you're supposed to do this, but I do spray a little bit of Pam in those so they don't stick. So I'm gonna be doing 12 of the egg cups today. Um, got my nice hot water here. So the first thing you do, and I just buy the Hillshire uh, uh, honey roasted ham. Okay. First thing we do is we take a piece of the ham and I'm going to put the camera down on what I'm doing now. Okay. So you can see what's going on here. Okay. So this is our 12 little muffin whatever you want to call them. And I just take this and I just place it right down inside. Actually, this is probably going to just do a half. We're just going to do a half of a piece of the ham. Okay. I got this other half there. Down there. There we go. This is really, really simple. And you can do this. I do this for like the week for little quick breakfast things. Or even I, I don't mind having one in the afternoon. Um, Scotty likes these. He takes them or he eats them in the mornings for breakfast. Um, and you can do, you can do bacon. I've done bacon. I just prefer the ham. The bacon to me takes a little bit longer because you have to uh, pre-cook your bacon because you just can't put the bacon in there like that. Well, at least I don't, I like to pre-cook it. So I just want this to be really quick and simple here today. Um, so I got two more to go. So I just do that. And then I'm gonna wash my hands really quick here. Then we're gonna get the eggs in. Okay. All right, so I mean if you want, you could you could uh if you wanted to, you could actually chop up some uh peppers like yellow, orange, green peppers, whatever you like, some onion in it if you wanted to. Any kind of vegetable, you could do mushrooms if you want. I would just recommend that prior to putting those in there, just saute them, soften them up, but yeah. So now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna take an egg, I'm gonna crack it open. And if you, I guess if you wanted to, you probably could put um, some cheese at the bottom of this. I'm just gonna top it with cheese. Just gonna go get 12 of these in there. There's no fancy way of doing it, guys. Just throw it all together. That's what's the beauty about it. And you know what I do? I just buy a big uh um cage-free eggs at Costco. You get like, what, 36, I don't know, maybe more than that, I don't know how many, in a big pack. So it's very reasonable. In fact, I had so many, I already had some here, and then I um, I gave some to my daughter, because I don't know if we'll go through these. All right, we got one more to go here. There we go. Wash my hands real quick. Okay, so now um, I just take the cheese. Or actually, let's just go ahead and, well, no, I think I do it after I put the cheese on. We'll salt and pepper after we put the cheese on, okay? And again, just whatever amount you want on there, whatever's gonna fit, actually. Oh, I've already preheated my oven to 350, so I've got the oven preheated to 350, and it shouldn't take no more than 20 minutes once the oven's preheated to make these in the oven because you don't want them to be completely done because you're going to reheat these you know, in the microwave the next morning or whenever. 
So you, as you can see, it doesn't take a lot. And then we got just that one there. A little bit more over there. There. Okay, now I'm just gonna put some pepper on the top of these, I think. Is this pepper? Yeah. Just a little pepper. Oh, you know what I did a couple weeks ago? And if I might do it if I still have them in there. I topped it with um, a jalapeno. All right, so I'm just gonna put the salt on here. This pink Himalayan salt is what I use. Let me see if I have any of those jalapenos left. If so, I'm gonna put them on top there because they were really good. I do, and I just use these right here. Yep. You see that? I'm just gonna to toss one on top of each of these. Yummy. That one got a little extra because it had a little bit, it was a little bigger, so. But I don't think Sky and I are gonna mind. Actually, I'm gonna put, put doubles on the ones, the last six, let's do that. Okay. And that is, that's it. That's it, guys. That's all you got to do. And then, like I said, um, we're just going to pop these in the oven as soon as it's, the oven preheats. I've got just a little bit more to go there for it to preheat. And then once it's done, we'll pop them in there and um, we'll give it like 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. I think maybe 15 is probably the mat. That is probably the, the, the sweet spot. Um, so, yeah. I mean, you could do this, but making taco, you know, individual taco things for people. And the beauty of this, it's all keto. So there's no carbs in this. Well, I take that back. There's probably just, just a smidge. Let me see here. Yeah, on the peppers, but hardly any. And then, don't know if you know this or not, but with shredded cheese you buy in the store, they put stuff in it to keep it from sticking. So it's more like a... It's kind of like a little bit of powder substance of some sort. So anyway, um, that's it for now. i check back with you in a couple minutes. Okay, so the oven is completely preheated. So I'm going to go ahead and take our egg cups and place inside the oven gently. You don't want to go too fast because it's eggs and it's very... Uh, very shaky or you know could overflow but anyway all right so once those are done i'll get back with you okay guys so the timer just went off so i'm going to go over there we're going to pull these out and we're going to see where we're at So here's where we're at, our ham and cheese egg cups. And all I do is I just do a little, let me show you what I'm doing here, just a little touch test. They seem pretty good, so I'm gonna let those go. That one seems a little bit softer for some reason, that one too. But I'm gonna let them sit here for a few minutes and then once they are almost, you know, not completely cool, well, somewhat, uh, sorry, these little pot holders are really nasty. Trust me, I do wash them. My brother, um, Link, the one that passed away um, in 2017, he had these made for me. So I have a, they're very dear and near to my heart. So anyway, um, these are it. So don't they look amazing here? Let me pop them up and show you again. Look at that. Yum, yum. So yeah, I think the next time I make these, I'm gonna do some, a veggie one with just peppers.
peppers and onions and mushrooms. I think that will be really good. So yes, guy, this is it, guy, guys, this is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, as I said, it's fairly simple. It's just taking a few ingredients and throwing it together and it's quick, something quick and easy to grab on a morning that you're don't have time to sit down and prepare something for yourself or it's just nice to have in the refrigerator to eat at any time actually so anyway that's it for this video thank you all for joining me and uh check back soon i'm probably going to have another video soon for some cooking of some sort also have some other content i need to get uploaded it's just so much to edit those things but i will get better i promise peace and love to you all until next time bye